E. St. John's. Good evening, everybody. How are you getting on tonight? It's your boy, DC, and this is Out of the Fog. We're a local matter show that goes right across the province, talking to all the people making things happen in all the ways that you love and need. Tonight on the show, we have three different segments, three lineups that we can't wait to tell you all about. We have Natalie, Aaron, and Krista. We're talking about a major room reno that happened with the candlelighters from Newfoundland and Labrador. We have Mark from the Postmaster House Bakery and B&B. &B. Amazing story of going from one to another and all the success that they're having there in the heart of the A1C. And of course, our last guest tonight is Ted and Cass. They are from Easy Fan, and Ted has brought this amazing tool to life to help us know who's playing and who's who in the zoo. And Cass, a local musician, is here to talk all about the benefits that has been to her. This is Out of the Fog. Stick right around. We're coming back after the break. Welcome back everybody, this is Out of the Fog and like I told you when we started up this show we have some special guests coming through and I'm very excited to talk to these three queens to my left, Erin, <laughs> Natalie and Krista. How are you doing? Awesome. Yeah? We're great, thank you. Doing good? Yes. Looking pretty. Love the outfit. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> so Erin, I'm going to ask you yep. to overview the very important work of the candlelighters. Okay, so candlelighters, believe it or not, we've been around since the 80s, providing support to families of children with cancer. Mm -hmm. So it's a very important organization. We have a lot of important people, a lot of important families that we help support. And uh, yeah, and that's how Natalie came to be here, and of course, Krista as well. That's right. And it's amazing, having met you uh, previously regarding candlelighters, we've known each other for a long yes. time, all of us have, <laughs> yes. welcome to yeah. living here, you know. <laughs> uh, but it's so exciting to make new friends as well. Yep. And so I want to ask, how did Natalie come into your life? Natalie came into our life, I think she's, um, she's a very fun person. Good so job. coming into our life has certainly brightened many people's Without lives. Without a doubt. Oh, Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so they're a member of Candlelighters. Mm -hmm. uh, and Natalie was selected for a bedroom makeover. Whoa. So that's how Natalie came to be here today. Natalie, what did you think of your room before? It was not good. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You hear that a lot though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Krista, you know, um, in case you don't know, Georgetown on my mind, DIY and design queen blowing up the gram, all the followers. I've been following you since day one. This is one. very flattering. Well, okay, it's going to keep going, so get comfortable. And the work you do is so amazing, and so I have to Thank ask you. you, how did you come into the candlelighters in this exciting scenario that's going on here? So a couple years ago, I was teaching first grade, and Erin, actually her daughter, was in my class. Um, and she presented to our class about candlelighters and all the mm -hmm. wonderful work that they do. Mm -hmm. And in the fall, I you know, was sitting on the couch. It was a Friday night, you can imagine. And I'm having a snack, you know, maybe a beverage or two. Yeah. And I wrote Erin and was like, I have this idea. Do you think you guys would be interested in this? And of course, they Absolutely. came back and said, yeah, this would be great. So I kind of connected with a whole bunch of folks around the community. And last February, we did Rachel's Room. And this year, we, we decided it had to be an annual thing because we just had so much fun awesome. doing it. Well, last year was and unreal. Yeah. it's amazing to, you know, to be able to give that to someone. So yeah. uh, this year, it was Natalie's Room. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So, you Super know, we're going to be seeing some photos span uh, on through while we hang here today. Yeah. So what are we seeing? Talk about the vision and what went on. Okay, so Natalie is a very unique character um, and a lot of fun, very vibrant personality. So it, it was good for me because it was a fun little challenge uh, to be able to design her room. But we did a lot of color blocking. So there's a lot of color, mm -hmm. uh, but it's super fun, isn't it? 
Yeah. yeah. I think it matches her personality really well, actually. Yeah. yeah. So talk about process because, you know, working together, knowing you're going to collaborate to give this amazing gift that's so cool and fun and helps raise awareness, which we'll talk about that in a sec. But for now, how did you first meet and how did you approach the conversation around creating a room that we knew Natalie would love? Well, it's interesting because when I go into a client's home, I always obviously have a list of questions, but some of those questions aren't necessarily tailored to a child. Right. So a lot of the things that I asked Natalie were, what, what are your favorite colors? We talked about your favorite colors. Mm -hmm. And we talked about what makes her happy. Mm -hmm. So I took a lot of that, and from that, I kind of created two different ideas, and I presented them to her. She slept on it, and she <laughs> chose this one. <laughs> so, which. Honestly, I knew she was going to, <laughs> based on the differences in the two. Uh, and then, yeah, from there, I kind of created a mood board. I presented it to her, and then we shut the door, and she wasn't allowed to see anything. <laughs> oh, that's not easy. <laughs> and it was now. a surprise. <laughs> Did you find it hard to not open that door? Yeah, it I was bet. intimidating. <laughs> I bet. I know. Um, Erin, when it comes to the work that you do, yeah. and to see something so joyous as this. Yeah that makes such an impact and makes so many people happy. Um, how does it make you feel? It's, a, it's really rewarding, mm -hmm. um, absolutely. And to know there are so many families out there. I mean, Krista would have loved to do it for all of, of the families. I'd love to do one a month. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? If yeah. I, it just can't happen, exactly. unfortunately, no, right? But it's a very rewarding to see um, the smile on her face mm -hmm. when she saw her bedroom, mm -hmm. to have her family there, mm -hmm. seeing her expression, to see Krista watching Natalie's expression after all the hard work. So, yeah. Wow. Fabulous. Um, and, you know, how long viewers at home are wondering about, you know, a scenario like this and, and how it goes. How long does it take to go from the idea to opening that door and showing the new room? So both last year and this year we presented, uh, or we, I guess, we surprised Natalie and Rachel both right at Christmas time. Um, and then I met them in early January. And then we try and tie it around International Childhood Cancer Day, which okay. is February 15th. Mm -hmm. So we try and like center it around that day. Um, but it usually takes anywhere from two, two and a half weeks in February. And by then, obviously, everybody's lined up. We have some wonderful community partners. Kildare came out again this year to help us out. I know, exactly. They're amazing. Um, like Kent has done a wonderful job of supplying so many things, so right. many local companies, Cohen's, lots of small makers. It's just. We're very, we're very fortunate yep. that, you know, everybody wants to help out, so it's great. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of organizing, but it's a lot of fun, too. <laughs> well, the management of anything is half the job. A hundred percent. That is yeah. just the under-the-waterline reality, and I think any industry, it is that. Yes. Yep. Two questions for you. Favorite colors? Yellow. Mm -hmm. I know there's so many. <laughs> purple. I knew you were going to say that. I was going to say, there's a lot of yellow and a lot of purple. Yeah. That's what you told Your me. Room well, those two right colors now. go good together, so I had a feeling. Yeah. yeah. And also, second question, what makes you happy? My family. <gasps> <laughs> and going to Baby Board. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. I love it out there. Beautiful. So, you know, when it comes to the important work, that candlelighters do. Mm -hmm. What is your hope with this initiative, mm -hmm. but for everyone watching the show tonight across the province and beyond, what do you want them to know in our final minute? Well, sure, that candlelighters provide supports to families all across Newfoundland and Labrador. So many families do have to come here for treatment mm -hmm. at the Janeway, of course, mm -hmm. but also while they're home, they can reach out at any time for any of the different supports. Uh, and we can put them in contact with other families who have gone down a similar path and, and just, we, we often say um, it's, a, it's a club, not a club anybody particularly wants to be a part of, sure. but once you're in that club, it's like family. For life. So yeah. That's yeah. so great. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for the amazing work you do. Thank you. So many people benefit from the hard efforts, and we know what all the volunteers that go into something like this. Many volunteers. Many volunteers many, many. make it happen. So yeah. thank you so much for the work you're doing, Erin. Keep doing it. Thank you. Krista. I can't say enough. Everything you do, I love. I cannot wait to see more photos of this in the playback. That is for sure. And keep doing the great work that you do. And hey, you. Thank you for coming on and hanging out with me. Are we friends now? Maybe. Uh-oh. I think I'm getting there. Will we come back again sometime? Ooh. Yes, you never know Maybe. what you'll do when you come back. You'll be on the couch yourself, just hanging out. You don't need anybody around you. We'll see.
No pressure, okay? She's thinking about it. I yeah. can tell. She's like, <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys so much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. The Candlelighter, such an important organization that helps so many across the province. Please get on the Google, check them out, and figure out ways that you can support and let someone in your life know who may need the Candlelighters to help them out. This is Out of the Fog, and we'll be right back after this break. Welcome back, everybody. This is Out of the Fog. And what can I tell you about A1C for Life? It's my hashtag with a <laughs> Y if you want to go searching later on. But the point is that the downtown is where I am lucky to spend a lot of my time. And right across the street on the corner of Prescott and Bond is this wicked little bakery bop. And I said, I need to go over there now and see who's who in the zoo. Open the door. Who is there but a friend from 20 years who just moved back a couple of years ago? Yeah. The one and only Mark, how are you doing? Great, how are you? So good to see you. You as well. So, you know, it's interesting. When we first met, it was all about theater and musical times and performance and all these yep. things that we loved. Yep. And then where did life take you? I ended up in the States where I kept doing schooling and then ended up over in Europe. I had a career over there in opera and theater, musical theater. That's amazing. Had the time of my life, which was excellent. And then uh, decided at some point that I wanted to go more into business. Mm -hmm. uh, I started up my own business over in Germany when oh. I was living there and loved it so much. And then uh, ended up coming home. Newfoundland always brings us home, right? Like we can never stay away for too long. So I moved home and then started this business with my partner. Wow. Yeah. And so, you know, the bakery is sort of business number two-ish. Yeah. Because I guess when you first came back, you started up uh, a bed and breakfast. That's right. So tell me about that journey. So we bought this house on Gower Street, number wow. 20 Gower. Yep. It had been abandoned for quite some time, so it was pretty derelict. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we bought it. Uh, at the beginning of 2020. Oh. We all know what happened that then. That was a magical time, yeah. Yep. So, uh, so the, the intention was to open that summer, but of course there was nobody coming anymore. Uh, the contractors all stopped coming as well. And so then we decided to, my partner Eldon is a fabulous baker. Okay. And uh, so we decided to uh, bake some cookies, bake some bread, send it to friends and family, make people feel better. And, uh, and so the bakery grew out of the bed and breakfast and so we just opened up the bed and breakfast actually last summer oh. so the bakery has been bopping along for the past few years that's wild yeah it? it's been a time what is your message to anyone out there who feels like they're being dragged by the car they built and that no matter what they do they're going to be stuck doing what they've been doing forevermore what do you say to those people i mean it's so easy to say just follow your dreams and do it Right? That's, that's the easy answer. Right. Uh, I think calculated risk, there's no growth without some sort of risk. So, um, yeah, follow your dreams mm. and, you know, go for it, I think. Oh, oh we know. And yet, yeah. it's not linear. It is not linear. I've had the, sure? I've had the really, um, I've been very lucky to have a couple of awesome careers so far, right? And I'm only, and I'm still in I know. early Spring 40s, chicken, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, me too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, thanks for that energy. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes, like, you know, there are some people in, in, a, in our peer groups, and again, going back to that sentiment about they don't, they've maybe forgotten or n are not as tapped into the fact that, you know, the future is yours to make. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Could you imagine five years ago that you would be running an Airbnb or a bed and breakfast and a bakery at the same time? Could you have imagined that for yourself? Never in I my know, life. Oh, it's amazing. Never in my life. What about your partner? Um, you know, he, was he baking before? Is this a new venture for him? No, he's a baker. Okay. He's a fantastic baker. Well, I know that. Good S gosh. He's smart, creative, very, he's very dream. meticulous. He's a dream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's excellent. Well, when I walk into the bakery, and I do <laughs> walk in there many times, <laughs> the sourdough is also its own discussion. It's pretty awesome. Well, it's you got to get the bread before it's gone. It's true. Right? It's true. In our current location, uh, there's only a limited amount that we can make because we're limited by our oven. Right. So you got to get it before it's gone. And yeah. and it, I've I've been told it's the best bread in the city. So well, you got to get it you before up. it. Thanks. I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> and, and I mean, listen, and all the desserts and the sweet treats, I can't talk about them. 
Right. You can only eat them yep. and love them. Mm -hmm. So what are the biggest sellers? What are the ones that are putting you on the map where you know that folks are asking for those things specifically? Yeah, I think the ones that make people most happy are our scones, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, our babkas, so mm -hmm. it's a brioche, it's twisted with some pastry cream, some dark chocolate and fresh orange zest, and then we sort of anoint it with, a, with an orange glaze. Our tarts, our macaron. So Eldon and I went to Paris uh, last, uh, last fall, and we went to La Durée, who are like the inventors of the macaron. Oh, apparently. wow. And we ate it and we went, hmm, ours are better. Saying it in all humbleness, right? Right. So we came back and told our, our bakers, said, guys, we're doing, we're doing something right here. <sighs> because we're on par or better than some of the things in Paris. I, if I do say so much. I, well, you just did, so. I did. Yeah, can't go back on that one. <laughs> no. I think Paris is gonna call, though, and be Paris like, Paris is not uh, calling me today. We're rotted. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah. They're in full support. No matter what, Macron is gonna call me up. <laughs> exactly. You're canceled. <laughs> yeah, I'm canceled. <laughs> you can never go back there again. Nope, not allowed in. <laughs> so when you look to the future, I mean, because that's not the only location. Nope. Right, so tell me more about that. Uh, so about a year into the bakery, mm -hmm year, two years into the bakery, um, we were awarded the contract for the Garden Cafe, the mm. Botanical Gardens. So last summer was our first year at that. And it, it was just a laugh. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was a lot of work. It was a lot of fun. Um, and with that, we also get to do food and beverage for the Marion Bright Light Festival oh. up there every uh, December. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's getting bigger and bigger. And then this year, um, we are soon moving up to Rollins Cross, but don't tell anybody. Okay, I won't. Yeah. I won't pass that on. Don't tell anybody. And uh, there's I'm sorry. this. I have to stop you. Moving to Rollins Cross. Yeah. From where you are now. From where we are. It's a larger okay. location. Okay, I need to. I need to absorb. I'm sorry. You just ruined my life and excited me at it's the same a, time, so it's like it hurts. It's almost up the here. same distance from your house. You're, you know what? I am equidistant from yep. there. You're right. Yep. And you get I'm some steps in, so you have earned your treatment. You, you know what? Here. I'll break even on the way back. I tell you. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Um, that's so exciting. Yeah, we're really pumped for that. And then uh, there's this certain easterly point in North America yeah. that we may or may not be operating a cafe starting this summer. Um, stop with the business yeah. madness. You're just but don't tell anybody. I won't it's say still a not, secret. Sh not a word, not a word. Yep. Guys, don't be saying anything. <laughs> We're in our final moment. Yep. How can folks get at you online or in person? Tell us everything. Uh, we're on the web mm -hmm. at postmastershouse.com. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Postmasters House. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Postmasters Bakery. Mm -hmm. Um, we just started a YouTube channel. We are now on TikTok because we're so young. Um, that's it. Postmaster's House or Bakery. I can't remember which. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're everywhere. Well, um, and I will be wherever you are. And thank you so much for coming on. And I love pleasure. having folks on who are daring greatly, starting businesses, changing life, evolving always. That's the energy that we're here for. Am I, I right? Yep. That's Come back again sometime? I would love to. Please thank do. you. Yeah, I'm going to go on location. Yes. See how it's done, you I know? I love that. A little sampling, though. Okay. Oh, my God, yeah. Love it. <laughs> Guys, Post Masters House, you want to check them out. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Mark. This is Out of the Fog. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back everybody. How are you doing? I'm so glad you stuck around because guess what? We're talking about everything that I love. Events, performance, having a laugh, going out, being social, supporting local artists in every way. And I'm not the only one who values that because to my left are two friends, Cass and Ted. How are you both doing tonight? Doing great, thanks. Yeah, Happy love the shirt. Here. Love the fashion. <laughs> right? Love and Cass, I um, haven't seen you perform in way, way, way too long, but I can't wait to hear the amazing sound so soon. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. You got to come on the show and do some yeah, originals, right? It's going to be good. <laughs> so listen, I want to talk all about Easy Fan, an amazing idea and so needed here in the province and beyond, I'm sure. I'm going to ask you, where did this idea come from? 
I guess um, the idea goes back many, many years, but really only came to life about two years ago. I had some time on my hands during COVID, mm. so uh, this idea I said I'd bring to life. Um, basically, I saw a, a gap in terms of how um, performers, artists, athletes promote themselves, uh, and on the other side, how fans find out what's going on in the local market. Uh, there's a, a number of different um, platforms that people use, but there's a lot of searching, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work on both sides. True. So what we wanted to do was um, bring it together on a, a local platform basis, put it in the palm of your hand for the fans, make it easy, play on the, the branding there, make it easy for the content creators, we call them stars, groups, teams, and venues, okay. to create profiles and create events on this app. That's wild. And so you have this idea and it's COVIDing out and you're just saying to yourself, well, what's next? And what is next? Because I'll tell you what, there's a lot of folks who have ideas to improve a whole bunch of things, but what they don't have is the creative courage to go out into the wild and to research and find out the what's what. What was your approach to doing that? Well, I've said to many people over the last uh, number of months since we've started to, to socialize this, we've only brought it to market publicly in the last couple of weeks, but um, I've told people that had I just talked about an idea, people would have said, yeah, 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 it's just an idea. But what we did was we went out and we built it, mm -hmm. okay? It's not everything that we want it to be, but um, there's a lot of features in this app. It's well, far it's more than just a listing of live local uh, entertainment, arts and sports. And I'm glad that you are here to talk about that because ultimately, you know, we are in such need of it. And I would like for you to make clear to folks who may have engaged with Easy Fan and the sort of front row feature that you see is being able to scroll to see listings that are happening. But I want you to tell us everything that this app has to offer. Well, I'm gonna start with uh, the fact that uh, Again, stars, groups, teams, and venues create profiles, mm -hmm. okay? So uh, different than other um, event apps or uh, ticketing apps where they just say, um, artist A is playing at venue B. Uh, so we actually ask people to create profiles mm -hmm. for stars, groups, teams, and venues. Mm -hmm. So when people find an event on the app, they can actually drill into that. They can uh, drill into the profile for the artist, uh, for the venue. They can look at bi biographies. They can look at uh, uh, links to websites, social media. Uh, in the case of venues, they can see all the information. Uh, uh, there's address, there's maps. Uh, again, there's links to social media and websites. So uh, it, it's intended to be an app for discovery, mm -hmm. okay? It's not just data points, it's to allow people to actually drill into an event that they may discover and find out a lot more about the, the artist, the venue, and, and that's why we've invited Cass here mm -hmm. tonight, because Cass is a wonderful musician, mm -hmm. singer, that's right. but she's also a user of the app. So may I ask, your journey, how did you find it, what is the benefit of it to you? Tell me everything. It's been great, and Ted has been so helpful in kind of getting me started, but um, in my experience as a local musician, I'm really lucky and grateful that I get to perform at so many different venues, and I also perform with different musicians, all mm -hmm. talented people. And it is a lot of work sometimes on the musician's perspective. There's lots of social media platforms out there. Okay, where do I post? Did I post there? How are they gonna find me? People come up to me after a show. Where do you play? I'm like, loaded question. Yeah. Everywhere. Easy fan. Absolutely. <laughs> Easy Fan has really, it's like an umbrella. It's a way to find one unified platform. It's been so good. simple to use. I've discovered a lot of great features like the copy. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, you know, if I'm playing somewhere every Wednesday, Easy, make an event, copy it. It's been great. You can upload your photos really and you get tech support and help all <laughs> along the way. No, it's been excellent, and I love the idea of the fact that like I play with some really talented people, and I want them to get discovered as well. And you know yourself, not very many people people play in only one single group. It's the truth. Everybody's connected to everybody, it's true. and that's what Easy Fan is allowing us to do. It's building this web, so you say, okay, Cass plays with this gentleman. Oh my God, he's in this band too, and you can really get to see the profiles, and it's discovery, and it's, so it's more than just I'm here at this time. It's this is what I'm about, and here's who I'm connected to, and the web I love unfolds. It. Very well done.
Good summary. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, we're in our final couple of minutes. I really want to make sure that we make the most of our time here, right? So people are watching this tonight and they want to go out and they're downloading the app and they're seeing all the different artists and everyone that's uploading everything and they want to get involved. What is your advice to these folks that are just hearing about Easy Fan? What do you say to them? Download the app, mm -hmm. uh, register to make sure you access all the features, mm -hmm. uh, and then play around with the app. Um, don't just browse, browse, browse through the event feeds, okay? Take a look. Um, engage with the app, visit the website to see how it works. Um, like and share your um, favorite stars, groups, teams, venues, like the, the profiles, like the events. Um, and then you can also use the, the app for purchasing tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, there are links to other platforms to purchase tickets. Um, you can do search. Um, if you're, one thing I really want to say is it, it's not just about St. John's. We're only exactly. launched in Newfoundland and Labrador right now, uh, but it does work wherever there's content. So we are actively recruiting both content creators, stars, groups, teams, and venues. Uh, in the rest of the province and we're also recruiting fans cool. so um, download the app explore figure out what it can can do for you if you're on the um, the content creator side and for the fans just use it to find uh, local talent in your area great stars groups teams and venues easy fan who I mean Got it just it. comes out of me I don't know <laughs> that's a jingle guys I'll tell you what easy fan you want to download it experience it get out figure out who's playing and where and explore all the amazing artists and events that are happening thank you both so much will you come back again absolutely I love it thank you so much this is out of the fog we'll be right back to wrap after this break Welcome back, everybody. Well, what can I tell you? A great show tonight. So many important messages. Thank you so much to Aaron and Krista and Natalie from Candlelighters from all the amazing things that you do, especially that room reno makeover. You guys are going to want to check that out, so Google it up. Also, thank you so much to Mark from Postmaster. Love all the sweet treats and the story of entrepreneurialism. I'm excited for the future location. I will be there. And of course, Ted and Cass, Easy Fan, an amazing app you want to download, get in on the news, figure out who's playing. This is Out of the Fog, and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Justice. And I'm Mia. And we believe dreams fuel revolutions. That's why we're engaging with Canadian icons and the causes they support. Join us for these inspiring conversations and find out how you can be revolutionary. If you have a comment about this program, we'd love to hear it. Email or call us or send us your feedback through social media. Was that four or five? He's lost count and still thinks he can drive. Do you think he knows that when he is caught and charged with impaired driving, he'll